We are now entering the third day of Donald Trump's campaign to let white supremacists know HES still cool with them, and Vice President Mike Pence has now joined the multiple Trump officials who agree that there are lots of equivalent perspectives to denounce following the white supremacist terror in Charlottesville, Virginia. At a joint press conference in Cartagena, Colombia, Pence tried to take the step that Trump failed to by specifically naming white supremacists, but he then added that there were others of different militant perspectives who also merited condemnation and went on to attack the media for noticing that Trump was coddling neo-Nazis' emphasis added way have no tolerance for hate and violence, from white supremacists, neo-Nazis, or the KKK. These dangerous fringe groups have no place in American public life and in the American debate, and we condemn them in the strongest possible terms. The president also made clear that behavior by others of different militant perspectives are also unacceptable in our political debate and discourse. Our administration is bringing the full resources of the Department of Justice to investigate and prosecute those responsible for the violence that ensued yesterday in Charlottesville. And we will hold them to account, under the law. The president's call for unity yesterday, though, was from the heart. It was a sincere call, in these two divided times in our country, for those on the extremes to be dismissed, and for the vast majority of Americans who cherish freedom, who cherish justice for all, to come together in new and in renewed ways. I will say I take issue with the fact that many in the national media spent more time criticizing the president's words than they did criticizing those who perpetrated the violence to begin with. We should be putting the attention where it belongs, and that is on these extremist groups that need to be pushed out of the public debate entirely, and discredited for the hate groups and dangerous fringe groups that they are. Following that performance, NBC News reporter Pete Alexander pressed Pence to explain what the many sides are and shut down Pence's complaints about the media by pointing out that criticism of Trump has come from many prominent Republicans. Alexander, you said on many sides, name those sides. What are the sides? Pence, as I said today, we condemn in the strongest terms, the hate and violence advocated by groups like white supremacists, neo-Nazis and their ilk. Alexander, well, that's one side. What's the other side, when he says on many sides? Pence, well as you look throughout the course of recent history, we've seen protests turn violent, we've seen fringe groups use peaceful protests to bring violence in some cases against police officers. Alexander with respect, only one group yesterday, Mr. Vice President, killed an American. Pence and were bringing the full weight of the federal government to bear on investigating and prosecuting that individual for that heinous act that took the life of that innocent woman, I will tell you, Peter, that I take issue with the fact that many in the media are spending more time criticizing how the president addressed the issue, Alexander but this is Orrin Hatch and Cory Gardner, sir, this is not me. Unfortunately, in their zeal to make Trump look as bad as he deserves to, the political news media has been undeservedly crediting statements like Pence's and that anonymous White House officials as condemnations of white supremacists when they are actually just more specific ways of saying many sides. As Alexander pointed out, there is only one side to the terror. That occurred in Charlottesville, the side that Donald Trump would not name. This is a commentary piece. The views expressed in this article are those of just the author.